All right, guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at how to install Deculoader, which is a tool created by the community basically to um, have an extra tab here where you can pretty much customize everything uh, regarding your Steam, your Steam Deck. You can add uh, things like custom themes. You can add a TDP manager. You can add uh, camcorder. So pretty much anything that you, that there's a plugin for you can add but uh, we'll go over the plugins later right now let's uh, first uh, go into desktop mode and get it installed so this is the first thing we have to do uh, okay so now what we're going to do is open firefox chrome whatever you have basically uh, and search for github techie loader and now we are going to go here just gonna make it bigger and scroll down a little bit just click on this site it will take you to the download well, actually we don't need to open the file we just need to go on uh, here here and then we are going to take this file and move it to the desktop. So uh, if you're downloading for from Firefox, that is one extra step. Here. So if you download from Firefox, then uh, the file will be named dot desktop dot download so you need to rename it to dot desktop only so you basically need to remove the dot download part uh, if you're downloading from chrome uh, this will not happen so this is a step you can uh, pretty much skip so we're going to go here and rename and then just delete this part okay so now we can go ahead and have our file and we just double click on it, continue. And um, there is a recommendation to, um, to have an admin password. Uh, it used to be a requirement, but it was recently updated. So you can Install it temporarily, and it will set to uh, set your password to Deki with an exclamation point at the end, um, and then it will remove automatically when the installer finishes. So here, just click on yes. Uh, release or pre-release? I think it's better just to go for release. And now it's going to start downloading, and basically installing a bunch of scripts. All right, so now we have Deki installed. Um, let's go over to gaming mode and see what happens. All right, we are now in uh, gaming mode. So we're going to click the button right here with the three uh, dots. And we're going to see one extra menu here, Deki. So here we can access the options. We have beta participation, store channel, if you want to set it to the testing channel to see, you know, uh, very new plugins that, you know, might do the trick, might not, you know, it's testing. And then custom, if you want to set a custom shop. Uh, Honestly, I don't recommend that. Like the, the official one is pretty good. So I'm just going to leave it on default. And then update channel, you can switch between stable and pre-release. Uh, you have developer mode. So it's going to give you uh, basically uh, option to, like the most important thing is, is that it's going to give an option to install plugins directly from zip file or URL. But I mean, for today's video, we're not going to delve into that. And then you're going to be able to test uh, basically other stuff that yeah we're not gonna get into either so I'm just gonna go to general and uh, disable this for now and here we can also see the decky version 
So I recommend checking for updates because it's not gonna do it automatically as far as I know. So yeah, check for, for updates every now and then. And here you'll see the options of uh, custom plugins. So I have nothing installed right now, so I'm not gonna be able to see anything. But once I get some plugins installed, then I will be able to see stuff. Right, so let's go to the store and see what we can download. Um, all right, so now we're going to take a look at the Deki store. I've already installed three plugins, but we're going to take a look at it. So installing uh, plugins is extremely easy. You just sort by whatever you want. Let's just go with most downloaded. Uh, CSS loader, you have, uh, this is basically the, the, the plugin to change the theme of the Steam Deck. And you can select the version if you want a very specific version. Steam Grid DB, personalize your Steam library with art, basically to assign uh, art to non-Steam games. This is quite helpful if you have apps like GeForce Now or, or Emudeck or that kind of thing. So CSS Loader, um, if you click on it, this is how it would look like. Uh, it will let you select your profile. I have uh, one downloaded and then it will, you'll be able to refresh if you download more. If you have nothing uh, downloaded, it will just tell you go to the CSS Loader store so you can download some. So in order to go to that store, you have to click this icon here and then you can just filter by most downloaded. Uh, I like this one just because I like the way how, uh, how it looks. So yeah, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and install that one so we can see how, it's, how it uh, looks like. So we just click on it and then intensity and then outlines. So, I'm just going to click on refresh and select profile. Uh, actually, profile is not really necessary in case you want to have multiple um, uh, themes installed. So, depending on what you're doing, it might be helpful. For, but uh, honestly, I just want the one. So, I'm just going to go ahead and, and do this and go back. And now my games look uh, round. Yeah. And if we click on it, we can also see the Proton uh, rating right here, which is super helpful. Uh, as I said, if we go to games like uh, Elder Scrolls Online, which is technically unsupported, but we can see it's gold rated, so we can play this game. Uh, if we go to other games like Helldivers, it's also gold. Here it's uh, technically playable, so yeah, that's uh, pretty helpful. And finally, we have Power Tools. So you would be able to set different uh, limits here. So you can change the frequency, you can change the power play limit. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you in the next one.